You'll notice on all of these machines here, we did the crisscross applesauce pattern uh, underneath. Um, you know, years ago, everybody always, you know, took it from like the top of the machine down. And what you're doing when you do that is you compress the suspension. And as you travel and you drive, your machine is trying to float and bounce. Um, but once you take it from the top of the machine, bring it down, compress the suspension, it doesn't give it that uh, the flexibility to bounce like that on, on the back roads or even any main roads. You know, your machine's going to bounce. So you want to make sure you give it give it that freedom to do that because if not you could blow your shocks out and if you ever see like a car carrier going down the road they always have the tire bonnet type straps on which we do have those and I'll probably use those on this trailer but I just didn't have there's like an e-track that we use uh, to put it down and then you fasten the tire bonnets down on that so I just didn't have that for this trip but we are going to do that on this trailer but for now this is the way a lot of people do it they go underneath and they do a crisscross pattern so that the machine stays uh, stable it doesn't move at all and the suspension still has room to bounce um, this is how diamondback truck covers recommends doing it when you use their truck cover uh, you know we're, we're just kind of you know trying to get away from the old school just strapping them down real tight 